All right, many thanks for staying with us again. I must say welcome to the show. I feel we feel happy and excited to have you know, Miss Tilly on the launch show. And I know that a lot of people are glad to have people from the industry right now, especially the event industry, who are so passionate. I'm so happy that I have ladies who are so passionate and ambitious, 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 ambitious. You know, because the word can fail you. Uh, women who are, you know, they are the ones ruling the well, let me use that word from Beyonce again. Many thanks for creating time to be here. How are you doing, ladies? Fine, thank you. Mm. Fine, thank you. You're doing welcome well. to Real Talks. Yes, welcome. <laughs> it feels good to be here. Oh, All that's right. good. So let's just go straight to the point because I know that the ladies on this platform have a lot. They will give you bass bows, bass bass. <laughs> you know, and I think the first question that I would like to ask you, being the president of the um uh, upon um, up poem. Up poem, um, um was association yes. yes i know there's an industry that contributes i think over uh, 100 billion to the gross domestic uh, product that's the gdp of nigeria annually mm -hmm. and um i know potentially it has been about one trillion i stand to be corrected when it comes to the uh, turnover um clearly it's obvious that uh there are a lot of regulation that needs to go into that. But I must ask you, you both are stakeholders in the industry. How is it regulated? That's the first question. And the second okay. question I would like to ask you as the president is that, how do you, con how, how, how do you contribute to the Nigerian economy? Do you have to pay tax with all the money that is being generated? Because when I was in the research, I said, ha, who would I by you? <laughs> what do you have to say to that? Um, first of all, thank you, Kike. Um, that's a very valid question, mm -hmm. Masters. Um, never mind that uh, an event industry, events happening wherever, you can have an event, I'm just using an example, mm -hmm. that 100, uh, 100 million naira as the budget. Mm -hmm. There's just so much going to the event planner. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. um, I can have a budget. You, you might be my client and say, I want to have an ex party. Okay. This is how much you want to spend. I want to spend 50 million. Mm. I'll charge you my fees. But mind you, the others are going to different sectors of the industry. Okay. I mean, we're all still the event industry. Mm -hmm. But at the, at the end of the day, it's not money in the bank for anybody. You understand? So um, we do pay tax. It's part of the culture we are imbibing in our members. Mm, you, need to be, you need to be... You, know, you need to do your taxes because we will not bail you out if if um, if the government the yeah bank. if the yeah. government comes after you. We've had s uh, different uh, trainings on this for people because sometimes people get confused about who do I pay what to. Mm. For instance, like I said, people's money goes through our account. Do you understand? Uh, if you have an event, I'm going to pay the caterer. I'm going to pay the events, events people. It's not my money. Am I going to be taxed on that? So we've had um, tax consultants come to talk to us, and people take up their offers of services. You are the best person that can advise us so that when the government comes calling, we'll, be, we'll have the right answers for them, and they won't think all the monies that have gone through our account belongs to us. Mm -hmm. You can't tax me on other people's money. Mm -hmm. So those, sure. you know, that's, that's part of the training we give our members, and that's part of the opportunities that abound as a member of the association. Mm, many mm. thanks for that. Mm. Very, I'm very, sure. very interested industry, which I'm very, I'm, I'm, I work closely with them a lot because you're emceeing events, so definitely you're going to be interacting with events planners. You know, people, lay people would think that you've come to upstage our old aunties and family <laughs> members that would otherwise plan events. Yes. But in Nigeria, I would still say it's a novel industry because the regulation and the and putting it in uh let's say making making it become um like an industry mm -hmm. you would say it's still relatively new even though people might have been planning events for years mm -hmm. maybe not um formally mm -hmm. informally so how is it like now is it that an all commerce affair anybody i can wake up and say okay i have a talent to plan events yes. and i can just go straight to it or be, now that there's an association, what is it like gets coming in? Yes, um, you're right. It's an all-commerce mm -hmm. up till now. I can, I can do my wedding today and tomorrow because I inputted in my wedding 
decide that I'm a, I'm a planner. Mm. <laughs> it happens. Mm. But COVID has been, has, it was a good thing mm. for us. We've had to stop and look at ourselves, especially with the government. When government was talking last year, they, they did the entertainment industry. They didn't remember us, the hospitality mm. industry. industry. So we began to knock hard on doors. Lagos State now knows, I mean, they will deal with us because they came to us and said, you guys are all over the place. Who do we talk to? You know, so what happened was that there are still different associations. And really, we're not asking you to become a member of APOEM, although APOEM is the best association, but belong to an association. So you have caterers now, they have their own association, but we, they still come under us as well. We have some caterers under us who also belong to their own specified association. Sure. What, that was, that, what that is beginning to do is to create standards within the industry. I cannot legislate for, uh, the, for caterers. In as much as my, I might think this is the best way to do things, they are the ones inside. Mm -hmm. We must get their input sure. on this. Sure. So what we did in August, you know, we called all associations together and decide that we are going to make the government listen to us and we are going to start self-regulating ourselves. Mm. Now it's gotten to a stage that Lagos State, they know the associations to talk to. If you, if uh, somebody told me, for instance, last week, they, they, there was an event that they came down hard on and they, they were going to shut it down while the event was going on. And the first question they asked them, though, what association do you belong to? The, guy, the person who is not a member of association came running to a member and said, ah, please help me. He said, help you to do what? I've been telling you to join this association, you, you, you know, because a lot of people feel that they can do it on their own. How, you know, the, what, the message I preach is that let us preach continuity. Let us preach yeah, standards. Yeah. Let's all work with the standards so that what they'll find with A, is what they'll find with B. It's what yeah. they so that's the road we are. Like you know. uniformity. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So that's the road we are charting now. That's okay. the road we are following. Okay. okay. Very, very nice to know all of these that you have said, and it's quite interesting knowing that you are all coming under one umbrella, you know, so to say. You talked about uh, COVID. Yes. I have a question around that. Yes. How did COVID? affect the industry. Wow. <laughs> don't, even, don't even talk I, about that. I'd like to know. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I, How I, did, knowing that we are an event-oriented people? Yes. Mm. It, was, it was a tough year. Mm. It was a tough year. First of all, the lockdown. Mm -hmm. A lot of people ran their event ad hoc. They mm. didn't have physical um, events no they didn't have contracts I'm, she's asking me how yes. is it how you oh, know, how the yeah, industry yeah. They, they, they didn't have contracts mm. or they, they, they didn't have watertight contracts mm. yeah. they now have their events being cancelled mm. yeah. which way out the the uh, venue owners lost a lot of money because they had to start paying people back mm. Mm. but now since then they they, they revamped their 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 contracts to say okay. Uh, postponement, no cancellation. Okay. Because remember, they, they still have staff to pay. Mm -hmm. Whether the events what is going on or is not going mm -hmm. on. So having to pay back money was not very easy for them. Mm -hmm. they, 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 a lot of them had their venues on leases. True. They pay back or, 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 or bank loans. Yeah. Although they got some moratorium, but it still wasn't it's enough. enough. Yeah. Yes. To Many thanks them. for that. Mm -hmm. You know, Bossa, let me come to you. Um, mm -hmm. The president has been uh, talking all, all the while. So I'm, I must ask you, I particularly see the aspect of culture, you know, in terms of exportation in our, in our models when it comes to event planning, especially with wedding parties. I see the white people copying our culture, our music, our dishes, our clothing, and the event style for, for the wedding um, that, that, that we actually showcased in recent times. And I, I see the excitement in them, even when they are in our country, wanting to be a part of an event, and they are quick to even showcase our culture as well. So I must ask you, how can um, event planning promote Nigeria in a higher level to the world, especially when it comes to our culture? Thank you very much Kiki, for having us and I'm delighted to be also here with everyone. I mean, that's amazing because that's what is 
making the industry that vibrant you know, part of us. And we are so blessed because we are, as vibrant as we are, we like to celebrate everything. Nigerians are mm -hmm. the most appreciative on the face of the planet Earth. And so everything we want celebrated. I get a new phone, I call my friends. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 that's what I said. We are very inventive. <laughs> yes. 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 So know. that's how mm -hmm. our culture is being mm -hmm. exported. And that's why people around the world are interested in these happy people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at that space, there's so many, you know, other stories that can tell you no this world should be happy mm -hmm. but you know you find that they are able to do that and then you want to come on to do that and one of the things that we thrive on is because of the diversity mm -hmm. of our culture mm -hmm. and then we have nigerians we have from different aspects of you know of the this the, the, the nation we have yeah. the fulani we have the Yorubas, we have the so, so we have all those tribes all those mm -hmm. tribes and you, you can't even count all the tribes that we yeah. have in nigeria and so by that those tribes are very important to us mm -hmm. and we don't joke with it so you see um someone yeah. raise their kids and then they tell them this is how we do it and up until now i still tell my daughter you have to kneel down to greet an adult mm -hmm. and this is how we wear a gele that's how we do it. they put it to schools so that way there is bringing about the details that we as an event industry also put forward in planning events. So you have an event, I'm going to theme your event based on what you want to celebrate. So for instance, you want to have a traditional wedding or you want to have, or you want to host, you know, a corporate uh, organization whose brand value or brand um, um, statement is this and this. Because of where they are situated, we begin to create a theme around where they are and that is how we export you know our culture so for instance we're having um calabar is having um a festival mm -hmm. and then we pick everything significant in calabar and its environments to create an event that speaks to all those details about this peculiar people in that part of nigeria mm -hmm. and people are excited i'm about. glad of what mm -hmm. you touched but i mm -hmm. must ask you you know let's go into the nitty-gritty of events planning okay. what goes into that work from day one to the day of the okay. main event mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. beyond the work because mm -hmm. after what that work speaks for you yes. that's mm -hmm. where the comes in. Yes. so what do you have to say to that question? so one one of the things that i've worked you know and i know that still works around is our consistent in training okay and getting yourself i like that and getting mm. yourself abreast what is happening part time in okay. different spaces okay. so as event professionals we get ourselves trained i myself got certified in event school London. Nice. why mm. because i needed to understand the culture out there how things can be done professionally okay. first how things can be done excellently mm -hmm. so that people will take us seriously and know that you know i have added value to what I'm offering you as a service, therefore, you can, you know, sit back to say, you know that, I know this person's family. A doctor, you know, is operating on someone, the person's not going to be asking, what type of doctor are you? Mm -hmm. This is a doctor and believe that the professional person is going to be attending to me. And so the same thing has to happen as an event planner. So what we put in place is the knowledge base mm -hmm. has to consistently be improved upon. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're having TIC, which is a conference. This is 4.0. And I mean, everybody in the event industry needs to attend TEIC. It's going to be happening in Lagos. And we also have uh, different uh, people from all over Nigeria who will be attending. What are you going to be learning? What is trending in the event space? Mm -hmm. How do you handle events? What is the new norm? Mm -hmm. What do you need to add to your contract? Like President said, What? how do you need to speak to your clients? How do you need to project your brand? How do you need to make your staff, your team, understand what is now important to both us as an organization as event planners and even our clients and even our government because we are representing the government so when you have anything to do with us as event planners you need to be able to feel the pulse of every part of nigeria because we are representing a brand from here and so the training base is one the second thing is knowing what to do the collaboration space and that's mm -hmm. the need why we have a need for an association and that's what our, our point is big on that's ensuring that we are creating a standard and that standard is what everybody can leverage on oh. so if i'm as good as you are if i'm as good as kika is as all the clients and all nigerians or all anybody has to do is just to make a pick of mm. okay i'll go with kike mm. why because so it's not because kike is good <laughs> it's better than yeah I am. Mm -hmm. it's because that i just like 
some details that she was uh, able to bring to mm, what I'm bringing. And so we can collaborate. So Kike can say to me, you know what, Bose, I'm going to be doing something around this, and I know that you can do this, so you can do this around mm. this event. And so we are still all working Thank together. All right. On that note, it's important for us to go on a quick break to get the message <laughs> right. from our sponsor. <laughs> Please stay with us. Okay, Thank bye. you. All right, many thanks for staying with us. In, get, in case you just joined the conversation, today's conversation is about the event industry and how um, they represent themselves is, in terms of the association, in terms of uh, professional parties, um, in terms of uh, events, you know, all sorts oh, in yeah. Nigeria. And the second segment we are going to be discussing right now is about a new dawn. I don't know why that word dropped in my head. But I just mm -hmm. feel that there's a new dawn when it comes to the event industry. And I want us to really channel our energy into that. Mm -hmm. But before I bring your submission into that, it's important for me to let people know that um, right now you can be part of the conversation by calling our studio number is 0988 It's showing on your screen right now. And remember that we're streaming live on um, our social media platform on Facebook, Real Talk with Kike, and of course on Silverbird platform as well. We're also live on our YouTube page, Real Talk with Kike, and of course on Silverbird platform as well. You know, mm -hmm. uh, boss, uh, many thanks for all you've mm -hmm. shared thus far. Like I said, a new dawn. You know, events are one of the factors that doesn't uh, make the government believe that the Nigerians are actually suffering. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, because when you go to an yeah. event place, you'll be wondering, Che and Jia with your little talk. You know, it's like statistics, you know, for those who do, who are not your bad people that are you really sure people are so You yeah. know, the statistics have shown that an average Nigerian company or um, middle class family yeah. expects over, at least over 15,000 per event or let me tell you down to Lagos State alone when it comes to mm -hmm. hosting parties mm -hmm. at least I'm very sure with the little research that I made I saw that mm -hmm. over 20,000 events I mean yeah 20,000 events um, um, uh, yeah, parties yeah, do yeah, happen monthly as, as at, monthly? monthly? Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 2015 let me okay, put the records okay, okay. And, uh, you know, Marcel, <laughs> I want you to throw light on that mm. well, well, what's your take on it? because it's, it's fantastic like I said Nigerians are, are just people, happy people. Jolly people. So we want to celebrate <laughs> everything. I mean, can you want to celebrate a brand new phone? My car, you know, so we celebrate everything. So for us, it is important that everybody sees what I'm made of. And the only way I can make that statement is through well, me hosting you. Well, people believe that we are suffering. That's yeah. it. And that's, the, and that's the truth. Because if you come close to a Nigerian, you will understand by what we say that I'm not going to you know the slang I say, I'm not going to come and kill myself. I know about <laughs> I'm not come and kill myself. I'm not the I'm not the cause of all this uh, uh, stress. Problem. So I'm not going to inherit them and then die over it. So oh. people still want to have their peace, their joy, and celebrate what they want to celebrate. I mean, this morning coming here, I attended um, a, wed a registry wedding at the Koei registry yeah. <laughs> down here and I saw a lot of people and people dressed up, made up and all of that for that registry alone. So that it's very important for everyone. So mm. coming back to, to my question. Your mm. question, which is how do we as Nigerians continue to celebrate mm -hmm. and not show that we are suffering. Yes. <laughs> now your with a lot of events that mm -hmm. occur mm -hmm. every month. Now every month even with COVID, post COVID mm -hmm. And people still want to celebrate because even during COVID, if Nigerians were allowed, they would still celebrate. True. Even with we saw a lot of virtual parties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what brought so many new normal, and that's what the new dawn is about. We are restarting, yeah. we are reviving, and we are re re reviving mm -hmm. everything that we have, and that is bringing yeah. us to a place where every event practitioner must understand that this is what is viable now. Now, mm -hmm. virtual parties and safe. Parties, smaller parties and smaller parties, Zoom parties, Zoom parties, Zoom parties everything. Pajamas parties, absolutely. Everything is. <laughs> yeah. I was invited. Yeah. I was wondering what you need pajamas parties. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Yeah. I want to ask the president because mm. I want to do a little bit of a little bit of business and math. Mm. I know that a lot of you in um, events people, you use mm. a lot of stuff. And I see you guys importing a lot of things. <laughs> yes. And I'm do. wondering what can the government do? Because what makes your party is very, very expensive yeah. are the things a candelabra alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not to talk of the showpiece, the centerpiece, Absolutely. the flower, the, the, the artificial flowers you're ordering. 
the I don't even want to go to natural flowers because mm. that's costing millions, mm, millions. and millions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can the industry do now that we have like an association like yours? Yeah. What can you do as a body? To make this thing easier because you can't put every event planner at your oh, level. I apologize, I have to interrupt that we have Ukoma from Benissi. I hope I, pro I pronounced that name, Ukomosa or whatever. <laughs> I apologize, I didn't get that straight. Ukomosa, many thanks for calling. What's your contribution on the topic at hand? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies. Yes, excellent afternoon. Uh, what I, the question I want to ask if I if I contract uh, if I contract an event planner for my event and uh, they did not I did not get satisfaction for my money, whom do I report to? Is there a disciplinary body or is it the association I will still report to for 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 purpose of discipline? Many Thank thanks for that question. question. I like that. that. Yes. That's that. a good um, for members of our association. We can we, you mention the name of the association? For uh, those association, who are the show? association of uh, professional party organizers mm -hmm. and event managers of Nigeria. The acronym is APWEM. Mm -hmm. Should I mention that again? Yes, <laughs> proudly. Yes. Yes. Association of professional party organizers and event managers of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. APWEM. Yes, APWEM. Our members, we, we we continue, like I said, we continue training, train and retrain no, ourselves. Train. I don't have control of somebody that is outside my my jurisdiction. But for my members, if a, a, an outside comes, an outsider comes and reports that a, a member of Apoem has done this and that, we will call the person to book. We will listen to both sides of mm -hmm. the this thing, and whoever is erring, we will, sanction. you know, sanction and thing. For instance, in the cases of um, cancellations and all, event, event cancellations, even we were affected mm. because sometimes the, the event planner, uh, the uh, owner of the venue pre-COVID didn't have a watertight contract. Mm. And then they are telling you, sorry, you can't cancel or blah, 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 blah. What of first major? What happens? Yeah. Mm. It's an act God. of God. COVID is yeah. an act of mm. God. It's beyond anybody's control. Mm. So that was what first it was it forced us to come together, you know, mm. marriage of convenience. No, mm. you can't do this. You cannot say we can't get our money back. Mm. Yes, you can take some of the money, mm -hmm. but you cannot hold oh. on to all. Mm. You know, so that has helped us do that. But if you come to me and several people have come to me, the first thing I ask is what's the person's name? Is the person and then I look through my book. I have a good memory. I know practically ninety percent by name, if not by face of our members, the ones I don't know are the ones that joined yesterday. Mm. You know, so if you tell me the uh, so so and so I'll tell you that person is either a member or is not a member. Give us a few weeks, we will deal with it. But if he's not a member, I can only advise you that this is what we think you should do, but we don't have a hold on that person. So my question mm. about um, importation, about your equipment, things that you need, mm. what can your association do or what do you expect the government to do? Because when I look at it from the area of taxation and bringing yes. things in, that is what makes the cost of events yes. through the roof. I Imagine know. if we have a balloon making company, company. here in Nigeria mm. and you don't have to import metallic balloons yeah. yes. and all your beautiful show pieces and center pieces are locally fabricated or how much local fabrication do you use no we, we, people have started yeah. doing local fabrications mm. now all these steel things you n use majority of them are made locally yes. going to chi uh, china now, now very your very feet must be mm. on the no. ground <laughs> but even that you don't you can't even guarantee if your thing is going to come before the before. event you know True. because of all the uh, importation problems that they have. Mm -hmm. So I went to a wedding about three weeks ago. They had these steel frames they used for the hour. Uh, and I asked, who did this? They said, ah, it's one welder <laughs> down the road mm -hmm. that did it. But if you look at it, you won't, you won't believe it. So we are get, getting to that stage. You know, when you can't, that is part of, you know, pivoting, diversifying, which we are talking about on, in our conference. Okay. People, people are, there are sections of people complaining that COVID has hit them. There's some people smiling to the bank because they've learned to diversify. They some have learned to pivot within the same in event industry, you know. So we have people now making flowers locally, 
they're not as many because then they haven't perfected their trade. But slowly as we go on, they will begin to perfect what they're doing. And if you know that you can, you can reduce the cost of your, of your decor mm -hmm. by getting your things locally, locally, you will definitely look in that direction. Yeah. Talking about importation now is just the dollar is not helping anybody. Mm -hmm. And if you are paying, you know, <laughs> there was a time, I don't know whether it's my age or anything, I said, ah, ah, you want to use 20 million just on deco. Mm -hmm. Na house. <laughs> Good question. Why you want natural flowers that will be sorted from Good, South Africa? Yes. yes. So, would you so, but we have to give the clients what they want. Mm. So how do we do it so that the clients are happy to spend that money? Mm. That's where we are at now. That is part of what our conference is all about now. Okay. Let's look at it. Yeah. When we started, for instance, just not on, even on importation, on um, doing virtual events, everybody was fighting MTN, all these uh, network providers, because you are, you'll be in the middle of your program, the, your thing, network will just, just go, go. Mm -hmm. and all that. We have somebody coming to talk us through on how to have a near-perfect uh, virtual, virtual event. events. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of things we're looking at. Even how to reduce your stress level. Mm. We're looking at our health. Yeah. At our conference Very happening important. next week. Because I've so. seen Very events important. planners. Yeah. <laughs> can you run it about? <laughs> I'm talking about the industry. I know you do have challenges. So what are the peculiar challenges, especially with regard to maintenance, security, those key areas? What are those challenges and what are you doing to walk around those challenges? Thank you very much for that. Okay. One very quick one I must say is that we have, we have a lot of challenges because it's a huge um, industry. industry. Yes. And another thing, as huge as it is, is an industry that trends. It evolves, so it, evolves. It, changes. Yeah. it changes. The trend it changes, and so that makes it that you have to be consistent with the things that you use. And so one of the key one there is staff. Mm -hmm. That's the team mm -hmm. that we need to work with. And then the this when I I, I want to mention government, but we have become our own government mm -hmm. in our industry because of preservation you have to get your own storage and storage is now expensive that means you need to buy a space or you rent a space and that means you need a big space to be able to stock all of those things and to keep them in proper condition so that they don't wear out or get destroyed over time and so you need a, a crop of people who are excellent minded as to know the cost or the investment that has been put on those things in order for us to leverage on having it long term so if I have this furniture and I can maintain it and it can serve us for 15 years, over time we have made back the money and even more money to be able to get something better. If everybody in this organization understands that we all need to ensure that this lasts that way, then we are going to be able to break even at a good time. Mm -hmm. And that means that we also have team, team, people in our team who can ensure that the structure of the, the product and everything that we use stay. And then with that same mindset, we operate with each other. Mm -hmm. So I go rent from um, a rental company, and then I'm, I'm using their flowers. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, please don't staple my flowers. Mm -hmm. Don't do this to my flowers. It is of my, I, I'm responsible to ensure that that flower is used in such a way that it will not be damaged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many thanks for that. Sure. I know that earlier you were talking about um, the events um, that you have coming up and how the conference have been ongoing in the last few days but as representative of APOEM you know the Association of Professional Party Organizers and Event Managers of Nigeria I, I want you to uh, you know you know like I said earlier that I know the association is having a conference themed around a new dawn which is scheduled mm. to old in Lagos from October, I think 21st, 22nd, 24th, uh, in, in, in coming days. So yes. tell us more about this conference and the objective, because I feel that the objective needs to be passed across right now in terms of, oh, when people need to achieve more in this event industry. I think that I would like you to channel your energy into that conference. Thank you very much. So TIC is the event industry conference. That's what we're having. We're having the 4.0. So the last one we had was 2019. And because of COVID, you know, we couldn't hold it up until now. And so one of the things that we are looking at for TIC this year is the innovation. 
that people need to begin to knowing look that at. Digital knowing that digital yes, yes. yes. Yeah. 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 the diversification and all the you know things that have come out of covid and then especially everyone now more than before need to be conscious of safety mm. and so these are many more are what our speakers are going to be looking at so consciousness mm. of safety now yes. will you um advise people to learn via um the social media platform without them being at the event place personally absolutely or because physically. there's a virtual there's a virtual um attendance there's a virtual platform to team guys and do you think it's going to be as effective as them being in the uh, on the on the ground absolutely it will be and okay. that's one of the things we also are, they're going to learn we are going to be learning mm -hmm. at the conference which is how to put together a proper virtual event mm -hmm. that would be seamless in all of its sections mm -hmm. and that's it's key to know because it is a new normal you're going to be hosting event for someone who is not in Nigeria mm -hmm. and you need to understand how it is done I'm also I also um, I also we also put together when we have um, conferences outside of um, Nigeria and then we get to go there to see how things can be done properly so for TIC everyone who in attendance will be able to take away this key knowledge base on right, right. how to handle events going forward all right many mm. thanks for that you know i have to come to you we have to wrap up on this segment but okay. i want you to give your last word on um, behalf of the organization what do you have to say oh, is that okay. mic? yes um on the second day mm. is our give back day okay okay what we say CSR. give back is a csr okay we're teaching people emergency response okay and event mm. safety and first mm. aid okay you know during the lockdown I don't know whether you saw the video of the woman that collapsed at the party and eventually died. Died. Wow. You know, so every every event planner, every decorator must be conscious of safety, like she had said. And if an emergency does happen, they will be able to react quickly mm -hmm. and help, so it doesn't become a, a, a mortal, a fatal, mm -hmm. fatal state. So we're looking forward to that as well. We have the experts coming to teach us. Mm -hmm. On, on that second day and the third day is our let her hair down huh? dinner party someone asked me a colleague asked me so boss said what are you going to be coming in as because i'm sure i'm not going to recognize you yeah. so i said you know what we have ashoki mm -hmm. now done in glitters have you seen those glittering ashoki mm -hmm. done so, mm -hmm. so we can have that done yeah. in a new all right <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Been an interesting much. one having both of you Thank on the you platform so today. But you know, before we let you go, there's a the last segment that we call trending stories. These are stories that affect us or, or the bind us as families, as Nigerians, so to speak. And I think uh, we were able to just tailor it down to one. There's a lot of back and forth <laughs> today. Uh, because we have two guests on the show today, we said, okay, all right, no problem. And the first trending story that caught our attention, I feel that it has generated a lot of controversy, even among us as girls, yeah. is the return of Jacob Bayan. Yeah. The return of Jacob Bayan. Yeah. Yeah. And I was yeah. 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 Well, we did soundtrack on the show and you said return of Jagaba, which you hear. You said it's like, oh, so yeah. <laughs> you know what it's for. And I think, uh, you know what, um, before we ask our guests mm. to give their own ana analysis on the show, I would like to ask you, Efo, Efo, what's your take? take. Imagine <laughs> that Jagaba is listening to us right now. What's your take? Face the camera. Okay. okay. First things first. I want to say, um, Chief uh, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, we thank God for your life. We thank God that you're back to your own country. And uh, we wish you well. Mm. And we pray that uh, your health continues to improve by the day. Mm. That said, the Jagaban is a, a political strategist. Hate or like him. Mm. That's where we have... Uh, that's who he is. You, you can't take that away from him. All the intrigues that are going on and all, all the uh, jumping from one boat to the other, you know, going on. I want to believe to an extent you're probably not moved because 
He's a man who is focused and he knows what he wants. All right. No, no. So, no, what, no. what's your take? Well, as a Nigerian, he has every right mm -hmm. under the law to contest for an election. And as long as um, he, I don't know if he has made a formal declaration mm. yet. Because that was what confused everyone. I would just expect that if we're going to be seeing you as a presidential candidate, I want him to make a formal declaration so that everybody can know that these are not just speculations from people. He has said something. All right. Many thanks for that, Lolo. I think as per Tinubu's return to Nigeria, um, first thing first, I want to thank God for his return in good shape after um, the medical tour. Um, I'm, I'm somewhat, you know, tired of the speculation, just like my co-host Lolo just touched on it. I can't wait for him to come out yeah. and make declarations That's so that so people true. can either align or oppose. Yeah. Then we can now know where we are headed. Above all, I think that is a leader who has the capacity and the capability to work with the right people. He has the eye to, you know, for the right people in his cabinet mm -hmm. because we've seen that, we've seen he has exhibited that in the past few years or few decades. And I pray for his longevity and soundness of health to mm -hmm. enable him actualize his good vision in good time. Um, but, you know, sometimes, you know, while I was trying to struggle with all of this um, before the show, his case is like, uh, is that of a young lady, uh, maybe a 20-year-old 20, 20 who wants to marry a man of 60 years old. <laughs> and the family of the girl or the woman or the lady in question or the world who want to worry for the husband's longevity. We want to worry that, are you sure this young lady will enjoy the marriage? You know, so if God wants good for Nigeria through um, the leadership of uh, Bola Ahmed Tenumbu, uh, we just might have to pray for longevity for him so that he can deliver or deliver the goodness that he has in store. But I'm not saying that he is the Messiah uh, before Nigerians because I don't want anybody to come after me or start writing anything on my page. <laughs> but at the same time, I, at the same time, I'm saying that he could be the one, but he has he has not come out publicly, you know, to come and declare that I'm actually running for um, election. I'm going to be the next president of Nigeria, which I feel that at this stage and time, we should have people come out. And that is the reason why we are talking about transparency. Right? That is the mm. reason why we are talking about accountability. There are a lot of things happening right now. We've seen what has happened with the likes of the Pandora Papers that came out. Mm. And I felt that not during this period when we are asking or we are holding our leaders for accountability, for transparency. And I think that that is where I don't want people to lose faith in him. I don't want people to keep speculating so it's high time for the return of jagaban to come out and come and tell us where he actually belongs if he's ready to contest for the next president of nigeria in 2023 quickly what's your take <laughs> thank you so much i'm going to take your tour because you know i believe strongly in god loving nigeria yeah i believe strongly because i know that on the face of the earth there are no people that can go through what we're going through and still remain the way we are mm. and so one of the things i can say is that nigeria is not beyond what god can still turn around and i'm hopeful i'm one of those nigerians who have a lot of hope in what god is doing and god mm. can use anything and anyone yes. yes and so it's not about what it is god is the perfect strategist mm. so he knows who's best for the job mm. and if he is or whoever it is, so whoever it is. So it's not, it's not so about people is. saying that, oh, it's all that you guys see now, it's can you call, you know, we don't. No, 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 it's not about that. Thing, the beautiful thing about his own style, yes. the little I know about is that he can recognize good. He's a king, man. Yes, yeah. he's a king, man. So, good so, 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 I'm assuming he's watching, so I want to talk to him. Yes. Please speak to him. Yes. Do you know for the best? Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. I want to say welcome back. I want to say welcome back to the country, really. Mm. And I want to say that God has preserved your life for such a time as this. Mm. 
make the best of it. All right, I love that. Make the best of it. You've heard from the uh, representative of Apple. Make the best of it. And with that, we've come to the end of another episode of Real Talk with Kike. Indeed, we had an awesome show on today's edition of Real Talk with Kike. And cut to our resourceful guest. Many thanks to you both. That is Abbas Ebe and Adefunke. Pardon me to use the first day. I have respect for other people. So, many thanks for coming again on that note. Thank you so much. My name is Kike Lomat on that one. We'll say bye now. Please yeah. keep bye. 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 bye.